Another enhancement in Inventor 2013's drawing environment is the ability to delete multiple sheets at once. The user can right click on a sheet, select Delete Sheet, expand the resulting dialog, and then toggle Yes No. Conversely, the user can select one sheet in the browser, press and hold Shift to collect a range, and then to deselect, they can select Control and then the sheet in question. When they do a right click and delete sheet, again expanding the dialog, it will show the current status of what will be deleted and what won't. And again, they could toggle that on and off here as well. Another change in 2013 is the default source for base views on models. So if I were to go and open up let's just say this little piece and then start a drawing. Now if I go and place a base view what happened previously is that it would point to the assembly file but what we've done inside 2013 is whichever file was last opened the last active file becomes the default file for the base view when creating drawings. We had users that had a you know, 50,000, 60,000 part assembly. They drilled down, they opened up a smaller sub-assembly. They drilled down, they opened up a single part. And when they went to go and place the base view, it's still defaulting to the top level assembly. So they're waiting minutes at a time, sometimes 10 to 15 minutes. And this way it's just much easier, much more efficient for them to work in. Another enhancement request we've done in Adventure 2013 is the ability of copying a view and pasting it on the same sheet. Before this, users would go through, they would copy the view, paste it onto one sheet, and then they'd go and they'd copy that and paste it back onto the original. So it was a circuitous way of getting the same result as this. They can then edit the view, do whatever they need to. Maybe just turn this off a little bit. And they can work on it that way. The view's the same orientation, size, scale, but they can go and modify it. Another enhancement request to Inventor 2013 within the drawing environment is the capability of suppressing any of the 15 degree snaps that come in when placing any kind of annotation. For example, if I take a balloon, if I go and select an object, by default, it's snapping every 15 degrees. And if I don't want that, I can press and hold the control key, then I can place that wherever I want. It doesn't need to be within that 15 degree limit. Another enhancement in Inventor 2013's drawing environment is the ability to remove the hatch when placing datum and other annotations. So instead of the user going through and making that modification, Inventor will keep track of that for them. And again, any time that the piece of text is moved, the annotation is moved, it will update accordingly. Another enhancement request inside Inventor 2013 is the ability to insert five different types of images into a title block. The user can still choose from a bitmap file, but it can now add in a GIF, a JPEG, a PNG, or a TIFF. And it's as easy as that. Another little enhancement that we've added is the one for measure. So I'm going to go and measure, and I can select the midpoint of an edge, face. This works in drawing mode, over in part mode, and it's to the midpoint of any segment. You'll get a different glyph within a part. It'll be a small uh, yellow circle, whereas in a drawing it'll be a little green dot. 
and the same thing within an assembly. So you can measure to the midpoint of any segment that you want. Fairly handy.